So, everyone's been talking about themselves, so I'm going to talk a little bit about myself just before I go into my new passion. And this is something which I've only discovered about a year ago. Before I joined SLI in July last year, I held various different roles within different e-commerce software companies. So I've always been vendor side, okay? Interacting with lots of organizations like yourself. So I started off way, way back when I graduated from university as a manufacturing systems engineer. I was a COBOL programmer, okay? So what am I doing as a head of sales now for a search solution company? Well, I went through a little journey, so I, I was Car, um, software side, I was implementing, I was putting in production manufacturing systems into places like Weetabix, Golden Wonder, uh, Nestle, building and programming solutions, okay? Through various different sort of um, iterations in those sort of different kinds of companies, I ended up in online marketing in 2004 with email marketing, then I went to web analytics, tag management, and now search, okay? So what all of you, I believe, now need in your organization is a search tech. Okay, so chief, instead of an architect, is a search architect. Okay, and that person is key to driving new revenue and business for your organization because it's the search data that underpins the tools that SLI provide, but also allows you to grow your organization and get maximum ROI from solutions like SLI systems. So my new passion is search and dizing. Oh, wrong way. Oh my God. See, I'm not very technical at all. <laughs> Good start, isn't it? So I'm running out of time already. Um, so what are they? So searches are your most valuable shoppers. I now believe that. A year ago, I was like, search, meh, what's that? It's just this little drop-down box that sort of people try and find things on your website. But how many people in this room have had really, really poor search experiences in the last couple of days? Okay, you've gone onto a website, you've searched for something, you haven't found it, you've gone back out to that trusty search engine called Google. Okay, because most people will try and find things on Google, Go to the AdWords, go to the natural rankings, and bang, you're going into a site that maybe is taking you directly to the product page rather than a brand. That's lots of lost opportunity. If you can't crack this and get this right, okay, you're going to be losing money. You're going to have people bouncing off your website, and you're going to be losing a lot of money. Okay. So, some stats for you. There's lots of stats. There's lots of examples. I'm going to whistle through this because I've got eight minutes left. So. Searches versus non-searches. So people are coming on your website and they're searching on that little box that drops down, okay? You're getting 11% higher average order value, okay? You're getting three times greater conversion rates, six minutes longer on your site. So you're reducing that bounce rate. Seven more pages per visit, you're seeing more of your content. They're getting more engrossed in your brand. If you're returning and giving them better search results, they're gonna get deeper into your website. Once you've got them, you've got your hooks into them, you can hopefully get them to convert and buy. Okay, because there's lots of other clever solutions that you can tag onto that, like recommendations and all sorts of clever things. Other things, your per visit value. So it's increasing to $11.09 from $4.62. So that's a huge increase for people that are searching and people that aren't searching. Okay. Some customers of ours, so Bowdoin, their conversion rate by using the SLI solution is 177% higher by using our solution to the previous solution they used. Thompson & Morgan, Average order value is up 47%. That's a huge increase, okay? Average order value for Thompson & Morgan is about 20, 25 quid, okay? So you're increasing that average value nicely, well over that sort of 40 pound mark. Snow and Rock, 11% higher increase in the number of orders, okay? So again, obviously you, you put that multiplier into your bottom line, that's a huge increase from a minimal investment to correcting that search environment. So what's hot? I thought, right, okay, I'm gonna come here today and go to the Royal Society, what am I gonna talk about? So I wanna to talk to you about some really, really hot trends that are sort of really bubbling along now in on-site search and um, that M word, which I'm gonna to come to very, very shortly, okay? So what's hot? What you should you be doing, okay? The search box, an intelligent search box that's giving you suggestions and recommended products. When you're starting to punch in, just the minimal amount of letters for a particular search term. So I've got D-E-R-S there, and it's returning dresses, search suggestions from previous user behavior, and popular products, okay? If your search box doesn't look like this, you need to fix it fast, because lots of your competitors have search boxes that look like this. Not just from SLI, I may add, but they will. there are other vendors out there. Social media, everyone's heard of social media? 
Yeah, who uses Google, Facebook, Twitter, blogging, reading lots of content on the websites all the time. Integrate that into your search results. Having little tabs, so non-product content to enhance the overall search experience, to get people to buy into that particular product and to find out more information about a particular collectible. So here in Kid Robot, they're looking for the little um, money, you know those little money sort of, I don't know what they are, they're rabbity type things, aren't they, whatever they are. So highly collectible, Kid Robot, but you've got all the Twitter, Facebook, video, Instagram, blog information around those particular products. Social media again with FTD, so this is the parent company of Interflora over here in the UK, we do work with Interflora as well. They are integrating Facebook likes into the search results. So just a simple data feed that comes in, it can be indexed and it can be brought through and people can then sort, see in the, on the second screen down there, sort by popularity, lowest price, highest price and Facebook likes. Okay, another nice little integration. The M words, okay, so what's happening in mobile? Well, 25% of all search queries are made on mobile phones now. Okay, that's a huge amount. That's a massive increase from a number of couple of years ago. 59% of smartphone users regularly access search. Okay, so again, huge, huge um, increase. 55% of conversions following a mobile search will happen within an hour. Okay, so you've got to capture them. You've got to give them an experience that is almost identical to your website experience. And that's massively key. And I've got some good examples coming up in a second. But 50% of searches, fa searches fail to find what the searcher is looking for. Okay, because they don't have the right technology. They're just doing a simple index repeat onto the page and it's not relevant to a particular search term. This information was actually taken from digitaldonut.com. So there's the rise of the mobile search. There's a fantastic infographic on that page, which is giving you all the sort of the journey that people are going through now with the mobile phones. So I advise you to have a look at that after today's presentations. So mobile sites, what should they look like? There's two flavors now really in mobile sites. We won't talk about apps because that's a different kettle of fish altogether, but mobile sites. So Bowdoin, they have a dedicated mobile site. so an m.site, okay? They've got a nice representation of their look and feel. It's almost identical to their main site. But when you do a search, I thought, what do I need today to come to the Royal Society? I need a little black dress, okay? I need to look good. Obviously didn't get one, but the search results returned it for me, okay? What else do I need? Well, I need some socks, because Sock Shop is one of our customers. So I found some men's two-pair Jeep Terrain boot socks. I actually went walking in the Lake District a couple of weeks ago. So I'm trying to think of things that are going to be relevant to what I'm passionate about right now. This is where we get interesting. I had a bit of man flu this week. You can probably tell I'm a little bit nasally. So I thought, what am I going to look for? Well, I'm going to look for some paracetamol. Okay, so a nice representation. But this is a responsive design site. So we flipped from the mobile, the MDOT site, to a mobile site which is responsive. Okay, so giving that same experience from your website down to that mobile site. Love honey, what am I going to look for now? What could I look for in a room full of mixed people that's not going to be too rude, okay? So I looked for chocolate body paint. I thought, well, you know, it could be interesting. Another representation of how search results can change as well, so this is Sports Authority. This is on a tablet, okay? So tablets are bigger, the environment is bigger. But what you'll see here in traditional search results is we've managed to flip the normal drop-down into being something that's a lot wider, okay? So it's going to give you a much more richer experience bringing those products into that environment for you. Coming back to the data thing. So everybody's talked about data and what they've learned from all the different technologies and people that we've worked with over time. It's all about data and insight. With a solution like SLI and all the other systems as well, it's using that insight to have some massive returns for that data, what that data is giving you. So in other words, giving you some new products or reducing things like bounce rate. So Oasis, if you put in maternity into the search box, okay, it didn't use to return any results. They were losing many, many customers were bouncing straight off their site. What they do now is by having a simple redirect, they have a redirect to the matern uh, maternity landing page which says, whoops, we're sorry, we don't cover bumps, okay? that reduced their bounce rate by 40% for that particular search term. 50 Shades of Grey, someone's already mentioned this earlier, okay? This is a really, really interesting one. So this used our poor search term results report, okay? And they identified, so when 50 Shades of Grey blew up about 18 months ago, um, lots of people were going to the Love Honey site and searching for those products. They didn't stock it, okay? They looked at the, result, the results on the reports and they decided, okay, 
people are searching for this, but they're not finding it. We don't stock it. Their buyers then went out to the publishers and got an exclusivity rights to stock the Fifty Shades of Grey products on their site. That became their biggest grossing margin product range of last year. That's just from insight and from data. And that's by having good people understanding. So the search attacks within Love Honey and SLI allowed them to actually do that and grow their business. Okay? So that's what I'm passionate about now. Okay? Search marketing, on-site search, giving people a better customer experience. And our company mantra is if they can't find it, they can't buy it. Download our new ebook. Okay, it's about that thick. It's got lots of tips and tricks. Thank you very much. Thank you.